Oh, okay, thank you. Hi guys, so we're live. Uh, I'm happy to welcome you to our live. It will be just a short, quick video of 10, 15 minutes just to give you intro about vision boards. And um, so we will be hosting the vision board workshop on the 7th of November with just B. So please, if you like my talk today, you can join us and uh, learn how to do your vision board. Okay, so basically, let, let me tell you about myself. My name is Irina. I do vision boards. It's my profession. And what I did, basically, I created a kit because I was thinking I was actually lazy to do vision boards because mm, you know, it's a, pro it's a process. You have to find the pictures, you, you know, cut them off then you have to print them off i thought it's like just too much work and then you have to print put it in some um board what kind of board shall i buy you know i was i don't know i was just always lazy to do so and i thought okay what if there is one box and everything is already there right so you don't have to think about anything else right so I created the box this is the board, the box. And inside, basically, you have a lot of images. Everything is there. And then you create something like this, right? I don't know if you can see it well. So basically, one of the things I made, I put to the Amazon bestseller. And then I became Amazon bestseller within a year. Actually, it took me a year, but uh, I think it's pretty good result. <laughs> So the um, good idea about the of a vision board is that it's done on Velcro, right? And it's done with the stickers. So you can easily remove things and put it back, right? The uh, very important thing about vision boards is that you have to find the images which is really like inspires you, right? So. In our kit, we have more than 400 images and uh, different motivational quotes, inspirational words. I will show it to you. So it becomes, um, you know, kind of like a mantra and like tool that you keep repeating yourself good things about yourself or about the dreams and goals which you want to set, right? So I'll just show you some examples. So we have things like that. You see, focus, I think it's very important. That's why it's the biggest word. So it has focus, it has, I'm the best, I'm very fit, do it right now, and so on, so on. It has many, many words. And then it has uh, also inspirational quotes, which is, I'll just read some of you. Da, da, uh, do one thing every day that scares you. Uh, or the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Things like that, you know, just to keep you on track and motivated. And um, the thing is when I, I don't know if you just Google things, uh, vision boards, or maybe you've done vision boards yourself. Usually I don't understand why people usually doing it um, very, very uh, messy. I don't, I really don't understand. Most of the vision boards usually are messy and like it's chaotic, you know, it's never structured. And what I did, I changed the attitude to vision boards. So I, I think people don't take vision boards seriously. And um, they thinking that it's just some kind of, um, that it's some kind of um, just dream, um, that you have to put something and then it might happen, might not never happen. But I think vision boards is, it's like a tool to also remind you to work on your goals. So on the vision board, there should be some things which have very, very like, like really big, big dreams, like something maybe you don't really believe might happen, but some things should be very believable, right? So for example, if you wanna, I don't know, if you wanna go for horse riding and long, long time you didn't do it, you just put the picture of horse riding. So it becomes as a constant reminder for you to go and do it. Because you know, our desires, 
and things our interest it's like it's clues for us i think to live your best life so if you maybe last five or ten years so maybe all your life wanted oh i want to go do diving or i want to start taking piano classes or whatever it is you have to go and actually do it finally guys please also send if you have any questions please also ask if you have any questions about particular asking about the vision board process right so how you can do it uh, of course you can come to our workshop which we do together with just be or you can just uh, do it yourself and cut things off from magazines and you can glue you can use core boards of course uh, um, not, to, not to have only just nice boards try to have something like that uh which is uh if you can see it it has structures so basically uh we have six main spheres of life which is like work or our business and house wealth romance family personal growth so what we do usually right so you have a for example my business right and then things which is connected to your business or for example, my hobbies, right? So try to structure the board. Don't have it all just nicey, nicey. Have specific areas and have specific, okay. This, my family, for example, sphere of life, which pictures connected to this sphere of life, right? It's very important also to brain, for brain to have it, to have a structure and then to have like this kind of islands of attention, right? So sometimes when you look at the board your attention goes this way goes that way um, usually what i would suggest and what i've seen through many many workshops that it's better of course to keep the main things in the center but it's not like 100 percent you know necessary i really feel you have to do there is no like exact not as much exact rules right i do think like it shouldn't be messy because i've noticed that the brain um brain you know brain doesn't like chaotic words but and also very important you have to keep the space in between the pictures in between the images it's also very important so then brain thinks that every image is different idea and different goal and dream because many words are just made you know the pictures glued together and just brain doesn't really separate images from it just kind of accept the board, you know, take the board as the one big thing. And it's not that, then it's not that um, productive because your brain has to take many of these things like a call to action. Ah, okay, horse riding, for example, right? So let me check which stables are open or which stables are near my home or which let me go and book a trial lesson, you know, to go and try it and so on, so on. Okay, so this is one of the important things. And then I'll tell you, um, this is one of the example of my boards, which is, uh, that board was a bit old one, right? So um, this board is much more specific, you see? Um, and it has more text, which is, which I wrote myself, right? It's not just I cut it off or it's not from our kid, but we also give you, a, you know, a empty stickers and then you write on them. But look, I want to show you what I do. It's when you have a picture, right? And then um, it's very important to have also the whole phrase. For example, I want a stage of 10,000 people. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll read you. I don't know if you can see it. I'm in front of 10,000 people, plus giving a one hour talk on happiness, motivation, and vision. You see? So it's very specific. It's like the whole sentence because one of the things I did, it was mm, I had a big stage of 2,000 people, right? But I didn't talk there as much because I was a sponsor on the stage, right? So 
when you imagine something, it should be not just, um, uh, it should be so specific that it can go in the whole sentence. You know what I mean? Not just, uh, of course, oh, I'm just healthier or happier or wealthier. It should be specific phrases, specific sentences. Then it becomes more, you know, measurable. It becomes, so basically you transform from the dream, you change it to a goal, right? Let's see if we have any questions, guys, please. Just uh, text if you have any questions. And uh, I will be happy to reply it. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to see if you have any, any, any messages. Okay, I don't see us now. Uh, admin, please, if you can, uh, just be please, if you can just send um, any questions if you have, right? So of course, also very important before you start your board, it's also very good if you, for example, um, uh, imagine uh, today is 4th of uh, November, right? So if you do it today, you have to uh, just take a piece of paper and just blank A4 papers, few of them, and then imagine yourself, uh, just try to close your eyes and imagine yourself that it's 4th of November, 2021 right? Exactly one year. So you, it's um, kind of like a letter, you know, you have to write a letter. What do you think happened to you, will happen to you, right? And write it as it's already happened. Imagine that we will meet with you and just be in one year and then you'll say, oh, Irina, I, I saw this, your talk and I wrote things down and so on, so happened. So imagine now it's after one year, right write down and it's very important to write down 4th of november 2021 and then you start writing what happened to you things you've seen places you visited uh what happened in your work in your personal life in your business in your maybe with your family with friends what new things you learned what new skills you learned you know, everything, everything, what happened to you, but also the same thing, as I said, in sentences. Um, brain love specific, and many people, they're really scared of, I don't know, people really scared of specifics, and specifics are the most important. Like, if you want to reach your goals and dreams, specifics are the most important. But people, I've noticed many people, they don't want to write, because they think, oh, okay, if we write, will just, oh, what if you ask too little, right? And I end up writing nothing. And I end up getting nothing, right? So you have to start, you have to allow yourself dream, but dream big, but that also, I have sometimes clients who would wanna just write $1 billion. And um, of course it's a good and big dream, but you know what I mean? Some people write two big dreams dreams that, which are too big and then they just don't have to do in your dream there should be at least some steps i'm not saying you don't have to see the whole idea how you will do it like the whole you know scenario but some at least first steps towards your big dream you have to know how you can start doing it okay um i think we have five more minutes and uh, what else I would like to tell you? I would also like to tell you that um, I'm telling uh, vision boards, um, as I mentioned before, people don't take vision boards seriously, but I don't know, my vision boards, everything I put there is working. And I have a lot of clients who just call me and they say, Irina, it's not a vision board, it's a magic board, right? So please, I also, I want you to try it so much and um, please come to our, our workshop or just do it at home and um, just try to be very specific with what you want. 
but remember two things so one you have to have like really big dreams and things you maybe have no idea how it might happen to you so it should be on the board and then also in the board should be something which is very like um, small goals as well as i said even go to some you know learn some new skill yeah but something even you wanted to do maybe a long time but you cannot like you didn't push yourself to go and finally do it right or to try to new things so on so when you see the board and then you keep the board i don't know some people say they put in wardrobe i don't really think it's a good idea because it's like you're hiding it um i don't know some people do that but um I don't like this idea. I like, I think it should be on a very vis visible. And it's also important to move it around within the room, you know, or within the apartment. Sometimes I keep it in my living room, sometimes I keep it in my bedroom. Because also the brain, if the brain used that, if the brain used that, you know, your vision board stands in one place, then it doesn't give, you know, enough attention to it so just make experiment if you already have one you just place it to another place you know within the apartment or the room and brain will be like oh whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, what's happening here you know so it will activate the brain again on, to work towards the board because boards it's not only like I think I really think 50% is magic. I don't know how it just works. And 50%, of course, it's still work, you know. It's still unconscious and conscious work and actions which you have to take over, you know, achieving those goals and dreams you have in your board. So it's like 50-50. 50% hard work and 50% magic. That's that's from experience of uh, my clients and me. Um, I think I don't, uh, I'm not sure we have questions. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry if I couldn't reply it because I can't really see them. <sighs> Tell me please, how do you, yeah, just let us know. Um, was it useful and maybe you need yeah, more specifics. I'll be happy to reply, just uh, send the questions to just be, I'll be happy to reply any of your questions and um, please also of course come to us and um, let's do vision board together uh, it's on the 7th of november and uh, we will be doing it constantly and uh, i think you would really love this process and uh, this is the best thing so when i get messages and the calls that you mean uh, your vision was working and people are uh, happy and uh, yeah this is the best the, the funniest thing i'll tell you one story it was before corona i did it in one of the centers and um, the girl put the picture of bali and you know to get a certificate yoga certificate teacher and then she wants it to work you know uh, with her laptop but in the you know in a tropical in the islands so then uh, corona hit and then it was very funny because uh, she stuck there for like three or four months and she's like texting me, Irina, thank you so much. Your boys are working, but can I go home now, please? <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. Um, and I have a lot of stories like this, you know? So you have to be careful what you wish for because it, it tends to come true, right? Okay, I think our time is up. Um, I'm so happy to, uh, we'll be so happy to see you. Thank you, Just B, and uh, guys, please come and to join us for the amazing workshop. Yalla, bye-bye.